and welcome back to the Zodiac Age, where last time, lots of stuff happened. Uh, you know, entire fleets blowing up, we picked a load of random job classes, we had a great time. Now, before we set off to meet the Gareth, we have got a lot of uh, side quests to do, which we're going to start today. We're going to start by selling off all our uh, loot. Again, don't sell that great serpent skin, I'd uh, be able to get rid of it soon. Well, this in this episode, in fact. But uh, not quite yet. Okay. Last jewels. Okay, anything new in the bazaar? Yes. What have we got? Ooh, light spear. Uh, no, we haven't got any spears we can use yet, but we can get the Ironforged pole now, so we'll get that. Uh, oh, Ironforged blade, sorry. Huh. Iron sword. Sounds a bit crap. Uncommon durability. Huh, interesting. Wooden pole. Now we can get that. Why not? Cypress pole. Very nice. Rain of tears. Yeah, can't do guns. Can't do spears. More guns. Bows. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything new here? Not yet. Okay, good. So, why don't we go do some shopping first of all? I think that's probably a good way to go. Okay, and head over here. Uh, who's our monk? It was uh, Penelo, wasn't it? Can you... Do you want that cypress pole? Yes, you do. Oh, it's not quite as strong, actually. Huh. Hmm. But we'll go for it. Guess her evade right up. Why not? And earth elemental as well. Very nice. Alright then. So we should have a decent amount of money now. What are we up to? Yeah, 75k. Not too shabby. So let's start up here. Go get check out the magic shop. Nothing new there. Okay. So what we're going to do, actually, um, once we've done all the shopping we want to do here, I'm going to unlock a load of the um, grimoires. And then with any remaining money we've got left over, I'm just going to buy as many as I can. Um, just to get them out of the way, really. Uh, ooh, lots of new quests. Uh, hunts. So, white moose. Okay. Sorbet. Oh dear. Sure, why not? Okay, so that's uh, out there on the west gate. Okay. And the ringworm. Balzac. Okay. Where's he? It's down in Low Town. Okay. Marilith. That could be a bit of a tricky one. And that's, uh, oh, that's right here. Perfect. Okay, that's the Tavern Master. Well, we'll go grab that one. Uh, Enceladus. Tasty, tasty. Uh, oh, cool. That's on our way. Uh, on our way to the Jahara. Anyway, where's this petitioner? This is, uh, oh, this isn't Jahara. Okay. So we won't be able to pick that one up quite yet. And the Crocodile. Hmm. Okay. That's in the Giza, in the Giza Rains this time. Okay, so this is what the, the rainy season map looks like. Okay, good. Is that all of them? Yes. There's a tavern master. Is it you? I have, yeah. Serpent one. Okay. Marilith. Got it. Desertion of Caverns. Uh-oh. From the west of sand. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, Marilith. The hunt begins. Uh, this can be quite a tough one, actually. I think it's doable. But you got to be pretty uh, good with your, your debuffs, you know. It's one of those snake characters can get pretty annoying when it gets down in critical. And uh, finishing it off can be tricky. Uh, let's go see um, Mont Blanc, see if he's got anything going on. I probably got some rewards for us, actually. Did it feed the demon wall? Yeah, two of them, in fact. I get Electrum. That's a bit of trash loot we could sell. 
that we get a uh, warp moment, okay. There we got an Esper, yes. Very nice. Any new marks on the go? Ah, a Gill Snapper. Okay, it's also in the Giza Reigns, alright. Sure, why not? Okay, where where are they? They're also in the Giza Plains. Okay, well, we can pick that one up too when we're on our way through. Ah. I am here. Yeah. Oh, why don't you uh, why don't you join us? Okay. All right. Good. Okay, so let's um, let's head back to the shops. We'll just stop in the. Uh, well, have a look in the technic shop, our uh, weapon and armor, and um, and then I'll start talking to all the various different shops to to unlock what we need. Uh, yes, yeah, we have a look at the technic. See if there's anything interests me. I would like to get um, telekinesis. That'd be nice. Traveller, Potorology, yeah, not too bothered about that. They do use Traveller in, <clears throat> excuse me, I was watching a speedrun the other day, and they do use Traveller in the speedrun of this game. It's based on your um, your step count down there in the bottom right, it's 137804. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but uh, it can do a lot of damage with it. Uh, that's armour, I'm more interested in weapons and armour, really. So no, that doesn't seem to be anything brand new, but we have got new, um, well, people can use new weapons, can't they? So, uh, healing rods, well, we've got a couple of white mages, so they will be able to use that. Quite interesting as well, with a rod that one hit regen. So if we attack our own party member, they'll have regen cast on them, which can be pretty nice. So there's the uh, um, katana. Mm -hmm. Hold on for now, it's the same... Um, Oh, that's better for Pinello. Plus 17. Yeah, okay. Warhammer. So I think, uh, who can use them now? Somebody. Yeah, we'll get one. Okay, so... Oh, I'm not going to have the, enough licenses for it, are we? Uh, yeah, it's Monk, so we need that one. Okay, third. Oh, we yeah, can do it. Okay, there we go. So we'll grab that now. That's that sorted. And who had the. Uh... Ah, it's you, isn't it? There we go. Warhammer. Oh, we can get it. Right on. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Hammers are quite. They're, they're a bit of a random damage, actually, but uh, they can do a lot, of, a lot of damage, and that's pretty good there. Okay. All right, good. Uh, I'll swing by the armor shop. I think we'll probably be okay there too. It's not like an accessory shop around that I know of anyway. So then, yeah, like I say, I'll just talk to these guys like a load of times and it'll unlock some. Then we'll go speak, go, go clear up the other. Um... Yeah, we're looking okay here. I think just one or two improvements in some places. But otherwise we're fine. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll just speak to these guys a load of times, unlock the grimoires, and then uh, then we'll go pick up the uh, hunts we can start in Rabinasta, two of them, and then we'll move on with our, our first side quest. So I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so we should be set and ready to go. It didn't take uh, too long, actually. Probably five minutes or so. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Good. So we should have a load more at the bottom here. There we go. So, okay. To unlock uh, one of them, you need to speak to a weapon merchant 30 times, uh, read a bulletin board 20 times, and then another 20 times to get a second one. Speak to a magic merchant for 25 times, and speak to a uh, armor merchant 15 times. Oh, that'll, and that'll unlock these ones. Um, so they do have different values, so you can tell which ones they are, but it doesn't, well, I'm sure there is a 
more most efficient way to do them or whatever, but I'm going to end up getting all of them anyway. So, uh, what is this ring? Oh yeah, right, okay. Um, so we can probably get... Can we sneak three? Probably just two. Let's start with the uh, cheaper ones. We might have to... Knight's monograph, okay. Okay, yeah, we can just sneak... Uh, well, no, of course, we can definitely sneak three, so let's... Uh, and get the expensive one. And the Sage's monograph, there we go, okay. Good. So that's because uh, you know we're off uh, on quite a long journey, so we're going to be getting getting a lot of enemies, getting a lot of loot and everything. So uh, for me, it makes sense to do it then. Uh, there's no no real ideal time to do it. Just do whenever you can. It, oh, sorry, I thought that was a uh, low town. Because uh, we're going to go down to Lone Town now to speak to uh, a ball sack and uh, pick up a hunt. Uh, just while we're here, uh, this way. There we go. He is over this way. And yes, I mean, you know, I've got all the equipment and magic I really want, so it, um, it seems to make sense to splash out now. Because by the time I want to buy some new gear, I should have, uh, well, have a load of money again. So it should be fine. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Sure. Wind Trace Dunes, huh? The Ringworm. Okay. Oh, okay. South of the central region of the Wind Trace Dunes, okay. And the elements are to its liking, okay. Ringworm, the hunt begins. Okay. Uh, so that's that one sorted. So now we need to head out to the uh, the west gate. So I'll just uh, I'll just meet you over there. Uh, it won't take too long. Okay, this is our guy, Sorbet. Oh dear. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, Dallin, huh? What's he up to now? Nice waterway. I haven't been down there for a while. West lose control. Okay, well, what's the key for? White Moose, the hunt begins. Uh, again, not going to do these quite now. I'd like to um, move on a little bit with the. Uh, uh, with a story. Uh, so yeah, where am I going actually? Is this? No, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know that, but I need to do some moogling. There we go. Uh, let's go to the south gate. We're not actually going to the Giza Plains now, but I want to get to a teleport uh, stone. Today we are going back to the uh, to the Ester Sand. Um, Ester Sand, there we go. First off, we're going to um, pick up the uh, the case of the missing Cactoid side quest, and that is going to lead us on to finishing the uh, Damascan Patient side quest. Uh, but before we do that, actually, we did get a load of uh, loot from... Oh, well, not a load, but yeah, look at that. Electrum. Nice not a bunny, and uh, some Arcana. Uh, no more of that stuff, though. So, uh, all right. So... Leave. We need to go talk to uh not you, not you. Is it you? It is. Uh oh. They sound pretty dangerous. Can we, uh, we have some assistance? Yeah, what if that random stranger went with this kid across the lake? What? Oh, it's Dantro's wife. Okay, yeah, I suppose she does know us. Fair enough. 
Yeah, sure. I'll help out. It's not like I've got an uh, empire to rebuild, is it? Okay, so let's go. He doesn't look too worried. Holding him hostage? Cacti? Oh, alright. Yeah, this is a bit of a ridiculous side quest. I know, I know, but it's fun. You, sir, should be ashamed of yourself. A prickly lot. Yeah, thanks, Ruxel. You, uh, you leave the jokes to me, yeah? Alright, we got a conga line. Oh boy, oh boy. Is there something going on with you in that giant cactus, Ruxel? Is there something you want us to want to tell us about? The sun. No. Uh oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Uh oh. I do have an idea, yeah. Yeah, I think Van remembers. I think we might have killed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's dead, guys. I think that you're just going to have to accept that this is your life now. You're just going to have to live your life in thrall to a giant cactus. Uh, you seem like a pretty resource lady. You know anything about this? Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, we killed him. And you turned him into medicine, yeah. Oh dear. You're complicit in this too, lady. In the house. Oh, would you look at that? Dram? He's okay. Are you? You're following us now, aren't you? Run away! Right, come on, kid. Come on, Chigri. Let's go, uh... Take Dran home, shall we? No, it doesn't make much sense to me, either. Be careful, huh? Well, I don't know. They all kind of look a bit similar to me. 
Well, they seem happy enough. Okay, thousand gear and some one fire shot. Can't use that. We haven't got any gun users. Never mind. We can probably just sell it, I suppose. Okay. Oh, cartographer's guild. Oh. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, a bit pricey, but most foreign highways will be up there sooner or later. Okay, good. So I thought there was a. Was there not like a um, shop over here? No. Okay, maybe it's just that guy then. But uh, but now that we've done that quest, we can now continue the Dalma Dalmascan Patient uh, quest. But we need to venture out here. The enemies out here are a little tough, so you want to be a bit careful. Um, but we're looking for some Veil Blossom Dew. And I think we need three parts of it. I mean, you know, look at these guys. 2,000. And we're uh, just the... Uh, just the three of us again now, but um, we're doing okay, I suppose, actually. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, what about here? Well, you can't steal, can you? Well, can you? You can, though. How strong are these ones? Yeah, they're still quite strong. <laughs> Fish scale, that's what we want. And then, so they're kind of up here. So I mean, if these guys are proving a little too tricky for you, just, you know, run away. That's fine. Uh, Ash, have you got your uh, cure gambit on? Yeah, you have. Okay. Uh, yeah, flyers, i probably pass those up for now. Oh, another gladius, nice. These guys will take on though, but let's just do it over here, away from that guy. Okay, good. Uh, who's my other... Oh, it was Fran, I think, wasn't it, Gladius? Have you got that license yet? Can you afford that license? You might be able to. Two Gladius users, that'd be pretty nice. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way around here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll start working our way around there. Uh, have we got any of those daggers? No, we don't. I'll give you a shield, though. That might help out a little bit. Bit of uh, extra evasion. I see you out there. Ah. Oh. So it is quite a large area, but like I say, you should be able to find them all in here. They're little glutes in the sand again. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I'm not too bothered about this guy. Uh, this is the right area I want to be in, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry, yeah, we do want to. Um, yes, we do actually want to go north here and get into the next area. That's where we can find them. And that's a giant Tyrannosaurus. Just run away. Oh, wait, can we fight you? How scary are you? You are a wild Saurian. But I do have a Gladius equipped, so we might be able to get through this guy pretty quick. Let's have a look. Yeah. Just don't kill everyone. Come on, Bash. Come on, Bash. Come on, Bash. Alright, got him. Yeah, he's not so tough. Yeah, without a Gladius, that would be... That would be tough. Okay, right, this is where we want to be. The Broken Sands. So, we're going to try and find... Yeah, they're kind of by the ravines here, normally. Okay, i tell you what, this is going to be a load of me searching around, so I'll just cut to the first one, and we'll sort of jump around and do it that way. I'll show you where it is on the map, etc. And also if we find any interesting 
Uh, oh, well. There you go, there's one. Ale Blossom Dune. So yeah, kind of looking for these blossoms in the uh, in the veil, I, I, I guess. It's, yeah. There we are. Uh, oh, can't quite reach that. Uh, so yeah, so there's one more to go. I'll, uh, I'll show you when we find it. Okay, one is just up the top uh, here. And if you come here, there we go. Then we get the third one. Now I'm just gonna uh, head back to uh, Dantro's wife, um, just because it's well, we can do it, but it's just you know a bit of a slog. And we'll we'll get to this place when we need to. So I'll meet you back at the uh, the South Bank Village there. Okay, so we made it back. Here's Dantro's wife. I did, yes. Okay, good. And there we go, the great serpent skin we got from the Nidhogg uh, hunt. Sure, there you go. Yeah, okay. Uh, do we just need to sort of leave the village and come back? Oh great, okay. So, if I understand, if I got this right, the race of the patient will determine the gift. And what would, oh wait, what's that? Ah, hopefully it's gonna be a Moogle? Yes, okay, good. That was, yeah. Ah. Oh. Then we get the Barheim key, so we can get back into the Barheim passage now. Yeah. Then we also get another golden amulet from this guy. You can also get a uh, get a set of magic gloves or a um, or a balance boat if you don't bring as many as the of the other items. Okay, so next time on with more side quests. Until then, take it easy.